All right, dudes, welcome to Three Flags. Um, I didn't have as long today, so I was just going to mess around with some uh, some settings. I've talked about trying to get the UK version of Gex to run, but I never actually tried it. So the plan was I'd fiddle around with some settings and see what I could do. But it seems to work perfectly immediately, so we're going to see how far we get at the very least. Uh, we can pick between English, Italiana, or Espanol. Eagle-eyed viewers may notice that that is not the flag of England. Oh. Okay, maybe if I say that its flags are bad, it doesn't work. Oh. Now, Gex... The... Let's say that it's not a good game. Um, it's an interesting game. It's also bad. As a kid, I really liked it. In hindsight, it's bad. There are two versions of this game. There's the American version. There is the UK version. The difference between these two... Well, there's a lot of minor differences. Like the uh, UK version only runs at 50 frames per second. But, um, this intro is pretty fire. But the main difference that makes the American version the hard mode of Gex is the voice actor for Gex. Um, in the UK, Gex is voice acted by Danny John Jules. So it's quite a funny man with quite a nice voice telling jokes that are bad over and over again ad infinium. For the American version, they instead picked the worst man who's ever lived to voice Gex. Don't know who he is, don't care. He's garbage. Um, and all of his jokes are references to advertisements that only ever aired in America uh, 10 years before the game was made, which is 100 years before anyone who's ever played the game in the modern age was born. That's how the cabinet minister got his trousers back. What's this? Ladies and gentlemen, I've just been handed some late breaking news. Special Agent Extra, head of the TV terrorist defense unit and star of many of my private dreams, is apparently missing. Jump in Jerry Springer. Agent Extra was last seen wearing eight inch heels and a red bathing suit. Her current whereabouts are unknown. Gex. Gex. Agent Extra. You poor kidnapped minx. Hey, Tiger. Guess where I am? Trapped in the media dimension. Rez is back and he's kidnapped me to get to you. He's attacking your secret island dream. Hey, speaking of secrets, you want to see my... Gex, quit clowning around and get me out of here. This place is giving me the creeps. Just dial me in. If you're calling from a touchstone phone, please press one now. Gex, listen up. Keep your watch on at all times so I can call you. And every other beautiful government agent trapped in a TV set. I'm on my way. Slimil, Slimazel. Hey, that tingle. Riz, get ready for the ultimate gecko weapon, baby. Yeah. So there's Gex. And that was Danny John Jules. Um, if you don't know who J Danny John Jules is, Probably check out uh, Red Dwarf. It's uh, one of those old British comedies that that was real good. Um, some of it's real good. Don't watch the really late ones. You wanna? It takes a couple of seasons to get going. Maybe I don't know. I really liked the first season when I initially saw it, but okay. Oh no, I forgot that. Okay, there's no analog control in uh, in Gex. It is all the direction buttons. Gex must collect TV remotes. And the camera will do wild swings all around Gex while he attempts this. I think if I tail bounce three of these, it does a thing. Can't remember what thing. I also think I have a karate kick. There we go. 
didn't know about the karate kick as a kid. That's another thing. No. Well, we won't deal with that right now. Uh-oh. Ignore this. Um, I'm sure it's nothing. Everything's fine. Another difference between... Uh, well, he's explaining all the different types of pickups, which we don't have to care about right now. Uh-oh. Oh, camera stuff. Okay. We're going to go to the tutorial. Another difference between the two versions of Gex is uh, Danny John Jules has twice as many quips uh, on average in the different levels. That includes the should-be-infamous Beanstalk level from Gex, where in the American version, Gex has one quip, which he'll repeat every 15 seconds. Gex can attack by spinning around or doing the karate kick. Either one does one damage. The tail has a pretty generous hitbox. Actually, the both do. The kick you're mostly meant to use for traversal, it's also faster than running, though. And I think there's stuff hidden in this tutorial. Let me go back a minute. If I remember my Gex. And I've played a lot of Gex. Here we go. Look at that. Pop, pop coin. This is the third game in the Gex series. Um, the first game is a 2D side scroller. Uh, do I need to hit the turtle? There may be a problem with uh, playing this from the disc. I'm sure it's fine. Okay. While we're talking about Gex's moveset, he's also got the Tail Bounce, which lets him go slightly higher. It's also an attack, um, sometimes. I don't use it. D just, just, just spin around to fight the enemies, it's fine. Don't try and jump on him, it doesn't work half the time. I'm a bit worried about the, uh... The bad thing that keeps happening. Oh. Go get a cutscene for every door, you wouldn't know what was going on. So he's using quite a lot of the CPU is playing it from the disc. Do I need to hit you to make fa farm up here? It's fine. And I need to drop down first because there's a park line. Uh, the park lines, if you get 25 of them, I think there's 10 in every level. If you get 25 of them, uh, it gives you an extra health. By default, Gex can take four hits, but that can go all the way up to eight. There are a lot more par, par coins than that, so after that point, they'll just do nothing. And again, this is the karate kick. You want to line up the camera before you go. Uh, the camera will often try its best to swing around as you run up. You, you get used to it. You get used to it. Gotta, gotta fit that camera in there. Oh, and then if you click to crouch, you do the crouch kick by you hold crouch while running and then jump. When you start holding crouch while you're running, nothing will happen. It indicates that you're doing it right by not telling you anything. There's a remark. Um, if you just if if you're not moving fast enough or you're not moving at all, he'll just duck. This does nothing. It's useless. I don't know why you'd ever want to do that. Maybe there's some weird situation where you can duck underneath a thing? I don't know about it. And of course, the first level is Christmas. 
something we will Which is still fine. When you start a level, you... Oh dear. We'll create five ice sculptures. That's definitely what I clicked. Um, you can do any of the objectives. It just gives, You just choose which one you want to hint about. It's not it's not really at a at a banger yet, and Gex. Uh the fly coins give you his jokes have been not quite hitting, to be honest. This will be a theme. Um Oh, missed him. The fly coins that we're getting, uh if you get fifty of those you get an extra life. If you get 100, you get a remote. We'll do that later. <laughs> the penguins have like three each. Oh, get you, There's a lot of visual jokes in Gex, so you might be, be able to catch some of those as we're going. Um, could use camera view there. Oh, what we got here? That's funny. These things spit coins. One thing I will say about Gex, music, generally, is quite good. Uh, the... I think... I mean, this is the third se game in the series, so we are missing out on some lore here. So if you want the full Gex experience, you do have to start at Gex 1 and work your way through. Um, the story of Gex is... Uh, he's He does stuff with TV... TV stuff? It's all TV stuff. It's, it's a parody of TV. That was not a hit. Um, yeah, um, all the levels are themed after TV shows or genres of TV thing. Which, I don't know. Um, I, it's hard to tell how far away this is. Also, where I'm landing. We did say at the start we wanted to break all these... Uh, Ice thingies, but we're not going to do that first. Okay, I thought you could jump down there, so I was a little bit confused when he uh, did whatever he did. You can eat flies to gain health. The purple flies gain you an entire life. There are lives in this game, but you won't notice them. And the bee coins, we need to play the bonus games. You would never want to play the bonus games because they're all bad. Don't even worry about it. Don't worry about it. Now you've got it lady. This is probably going to be a one off. Oh, no. No, that's not what you want to see. I don't think that was... Uh, I think that was just normal. That's just normal Gex. Standard Gex behavior. The platforming is a little tricky because... Gex is, uh, he has a mind of his own and will do as he pleases. Playing Gex, I'm reminded that I've still never played Bubsy 3D. And I wanna. I wanna cross that one off the list. I did all that for the stupid Pokemon. Let's go fight Evil Santa. That's what we're doing. Ah, oh, there's another, another visual joke there. Eagle-eyed viewers, mate. May have spotted it. Pretty cold. Uh, for those who didn't hear because I was talking over him. It's pretty, alright. Pretty cold. I still maintain that the jokes in the American version are worse. Because it's just a quote from an advert I've never seen. Because I'm, I'm neither old enough. No. Um, in the right country. I am not hitting these back effectively. There's nothing more to this, you just hit the things back. 
if you can. I can't. Maybe you can do better. Oh, one more of those and Gex is dead. What have I done? Let's give that another go. We just gotta get the timing. A little hard to tell how far away things are in Gex. Wanted a karate kick there, but didn't get it. Just kind of jumped and, and stopped, slowed down. Yeah, that's that's what was happening last time. What if we step out of the way and then hit it? Well, we got him once, and it takes three. Step and hit. Ah, there we go. We got we got him down. I think now. Oh, <laughs> don't know what part of Gex that hit. Okay, that was too far. This is uh, video content that I am going to upload to YouTube, so that'll be fun. Ah, uh, there you go. Evil Santa's dead. We never have to look at him again. And now we can go pick up that remote, and we'll we'll have another remote. Um, I'm not getting the correct. Here. Also, the camera's facing the wrong way. I want ten round. So the fly coins. You need a hundred of those to get the uh, bonus remote in any level. There are only a hundred in every level. You have to find every single one. It sucks. When you pick up a remote, the game will freeze and then you'll exit the level and have to go back in if you want to do the other things. Uh, that's not true of the fly coin remote. That doesn't exit the level. Nice work, Frosty. You're getting warmer. Not warm enough. When this is over, I say we perform a few experiments with body work. Good technique, but that hat does nothing for me. Now how about you focus that extreme sports tail of yours on getting me out of here? Haha, <laughs> funny. And after the first time you beat any level, well, first time you get a remote in any level, um, upon exiting you will get a cutscene. And they're all very funny. Lock and load. Yep, that's still happening. Uh, maybe we should create five ice sculptures. I can't remember. I think that is the next one. Normally they're in order, and uh, the further down the list they are, the further you have to go into the level. Apparently that's not the case on this one. I'm losing my tail off here. We're just gonna... Sp oh wait, no. No, we're not gonna speedrun this screen. Um, I've missed one. Don't need to get that guy again. Because he's a pain in the ass, and also because I already did it. Right, that thing up there. So we need a karate kick over to that roof. If we can straighten the camera out. It was the uh, era where developers just kind of thought, the game can do a better camera than the fallible human behind the controls. The machine can work out where you should be looking. That lasted for, for quite a while. It's also... Oh dear, Neela. Don't know why I came up here. Um, the camera is also a physical object. I, obvious... I mean, I, th I think it's happened a couple of times already. Um, it can get stuck on things, just... Knocked out of the way by walls. It sucks. At the time, Gex was... Somebody throw me a At the time, Gex was uh, reasonably popular. It might not be working as well as I'd hoped. You jump on this thing, for some reason it fires you upwards. The other ones don't. It's your friend, Rez. Presumably he's in Gex 2? Or Gex 1? Or both? 
unbreakable, no gap. He's a dinosaur. Maybe he's new. He's a dinosaur a few words. There's very little to explain himself. Is there anything else up here? Oh. Got him. That's not even trying really, is it? You can also swim underwater. I can't remember what button it is. It's R2. So keep that in mind when you uh, pick up Gex 3D Deep Cover Gecko for yourself. Is It's not 3D. Can't be 3D. Maybe it's 3D. I mean, it's not in 3D, but the tile might be 3D. Where am I going? I want to go up there at some point. I think I came from there. Here's probably a good place to start. Well, that was lucky. I went for the karate kick, didn't get it, and just darker. It's a little tricky to... Well, it's very tricky to gauge distances. It's also difficult to gauge exactly how far Gex will travel. Um, generally, just tail bounce right at the edge and hope. Oh, what you can best... Uh, Ascertain is it right at it's it's pretty all right pretty cold right at the edge but can you do a triple toe stop and follow by a backward lunge? this I remember this see if we can go camera's gonna hang out over there so it don't get in the way uh Gex has tank controls by the way I'm sure my uh Sheer Gex skill means that you didn't realize that, but uh. Oh, I thought I did once already. You get him just right, you can stop him. Ah, oh, I have to do this next time as well, because obviously we've got to get all the all the remotes and Gex. So we're gonna need those fly coins. And there's a B coin. Um, maybe I'll try a bonus game at some point just to show them off. I don't like them. And I don't think they get you anything. They don't get you remotes. I meant to jump there, but Gex decided he, he wasn't feeling it. Can we... There we go. I think we head up here. Was feeling like a change today, so... You know, I need to be punished for that by playing Gex. From now on, it's it's front mission until the day I die. It just keeps going without pause. Now imagine if he had half as many lines, so you were hearing the same ones over and over again. Well, you're still hearing the same ones over and over again, but twice as often. He's not doing that. Okay, he got there in the end. I just had to stop trying to move forward while I tried to jump. Now, we should be wrapping this one up, and we'll have just the chase the snowboarding elves and tracking down all of the fly kinds of cops. Now, I have uh, previously got, got all the remotes uh, in this game. Except for the hundred fly coin ones. I stopped doing those because they're stupid. There won't be a cutscene this time, so it should load a bit faster. In theory. Okay, there we go. I think the. Uh... Oh, there's a bonus. Should we do the bonus? This will be fun. Masupial Madness. Ring the ten bells. Call the blind doctors. Okay. We're doing it. We're ringing those bells. I found two. That one I've already got, haven't I? It's 
three. If you see a bell, leave a comment. Because I'm not doing a great job of finding it. Don't know what that is. If I were a bell, where would I be? Oh. Ah, you see, because, uh, kangaroo. They're in that place that burned down recently. I remember those from the past. I think these are koalas as well. Look like at that. It's throwing, uh, oh. It's throwing beers. How do I jump this high? I can't tail bounce is the... I keep getting stuck on the wall, I think, is the problem. There we go. Ah, oh, is that the last ones? Easy. Easy ring the ten bells. You think you can hide ten bells from me? 40 seconds to spare. And that gets you a life. We've already beat Evil Santa. We may never need lives again. Don't know what that's about. Lock and load. I do actually know what those are about. I've misled you. This is what we're up against. Can we handle it? Can Gex? Oh, there were a, a wall joke there, but I didn't quite get to read it in time. He says a lot of things that aren't really jokes, but he uses kind of joke inflection. And I'll be honest, De Danny John Jules does not seem particularly into it for a lot of these lines. He's a better cat than he is a lizard. So, um, these penguins are fast, and these are a recurring thing, uh, not the penguins particularly, but that kind of, uh, creature that will just run around and be extremely difficult to hit sometimes. Also, a uh, recurring thing in the levels is stuff you got to hit a bunch of times to get all the coins out of them. Doing all right though. We got 21, and we've only been playing a couple of seconds. Oh, there's a couple of other PS1 games I want to play. Probably record my first time with Bubsy 3D. Um, don't think that's going to be a full playthrough. Uh, I've watched the end of a playthrough of Bubsy 3D, and it didn't look very fun. Believe, yeah, Smite, Smite finished it. He did save state a lot, but I don't think anyone could reasonably blame him for that. So that's that's where you go if you want to see a full playthrough of Bubsy 3D. This will just be a, a a quick and dirty first impressions of Bubsy 3D. I've never actually played any Bubsy game, and I call myself a gamer. I don't call myself a gamer. Please never call me again. Okay, falling off that. Um, don't remember if this guy had a coin, so let's go run around in circles for 10 minutes. Okay, if you can get him just right, you can hit him again before the recovery time runs out. And he did have a coin. Is that worth doing? So if we'd missed one, we wouldn't know where the one we missed was. We'd have no way of knowing. We'd have to just go back through the whole level. It's just two hits on an inanimate object in a row. He had to quit. Please, guys. I think all I'm going to have time for today is the Christmas level. Should probably have mixed it up and done uh, one of the ones on the, the next level. Maybe I will some other time. Uh, there's a, there's some issues with this, but you know. It's always 
It's always going to be Gex. That can't be improved on. So the stirring isn't the worst of it. You leave a fly orbiting you and you get hit, the fly will disappear instead of the hit happening. Uh, you can do that with any kind of fly. So that extra life could have been a single hit if we wanted. Just never stops. Which I've told is the same with uh, with Bubsy. And you know, here's a here's some Bubsy intel for you, because I, I am a scholar of Bubsy, if not an actual player of Bubsy. Um, the Bubsy 3D is not the worst Bubsy game. They're all incredibly bad. It's not it's not just Bubsy 3D, and uh, Bubsy 2 is worse. Which might has also done a full playthrough of. Which... That game is... It was literally just made by people who hated the character, hated being there, hated doing it, and wanted the game to fail. Um, like literally, you can... It's worth reading up on. It's... It's pretty good. Um... I'm not gonna play that one. Maybe Bubsy won. Gex doesn't take fall damage. That's a good thing about about Gex. We gotta be positive sometimes. The music's good. Uh, not this music particularly, but uh, some of the levels have good music. And it's uh, it's got like a an overarching theme that goes through all of them. I'm always, I always like that. Uh, a theme in the in the music musical theme. I'm not talking about the many complex themes of Gex. That's a weirdly detailed rifle for this uh, blob to have. And it's it's not the kind of rifle you might expect, but whatever. I'm going to upload this to... Uh, IMFDB, and we're going to work out what type of rifle that is. From all the five pixels of it. Leave a comment about what type of rifle the statue thing has, and, and while you're there, drop me a dislike. So the engagement algorithm will like me more. I do like that. <laughs> I mean, it's it's bad, but like if if you see content that's really bad, there's nothing you can do to. It's pretty, all right. There's nothing you can do. If anything you say, you leave an angry comment, the algorithm will take that as a viewer engagement. You leave a dislike, it's viewer engagement. Can't win. I didn't go up the hill. Still got to do the hill. Can't get every last coin? You can't leave the coins that are on the hill. We're at 89. Pretty close. I don't think there's many on the last slope, so we might be there if we do this hill. Oh, that one what we wanted. You can grab onto the moving platform, it just doesn't work a lot of the time. Don't want to come over as uh, as your, your typical YouTube angry boy gamer. I enjoy playing Gex in a weird way. I enjoy playing games that are bad sometimes. You can enjoy something that's bad, and you can enjoy it knowing that it's bad. Gex is very strange. And... For a really old game, the controls and stuff haven't aged that badly. Like, it doesn't... It's not the most responsive game, but... Kind of works. Once you got the muscle memory for the karate kicks. And once you've realized that that's a move that you can do. I don't believe it tells you. Um, no, it does in the tutorial, but it says press the crouch button. And it doesn't... It just says press the crouch button to karate kick or something, and it's... I remember it being weird. 
It took me a while to understand the karate kick when I first played as a child. I still didn't understand any of his jokes, and it's been so many years since then, they've all faded into the passage of time. This guy's very hard to hit, because if you hit the back part of his uh, snowboard, nah fam, do it better. Try again. I believe you get something if you go through all of those. Oh. Now, this uh, snowboard's also a little harder to turn than it than it looks. It's an acquired skill, is Gex. Years of Gex talent and uh, practice. I don't know why I said talent. Practice. Has brought me to this point where I can't hit a single enemy doing figure eights right in front of me. Oh, that, that didn't get... Luckily, you can snowboard back up the hill if you miss. I think I got that one already. Oh no, maybe I'm wrong. These don't do anything. Hey, I got the far coin. Oh, if you're on a slope, you can hit them from behind. There's this new tech being discovered right now. I wonder what the speed... I know there are speedrun times for Gex, because uh, this isn't that on... It's... Everyone had Gex back in the day. I reckon Gex is uh, a known quantity. I want to see a Gex speedrun. I want to see the Gex tech. Maybe I can uh, try and learn as much Gex speedrun tech as possible and try and try and teach it on this channel. Oh, it's going sideways. That's fine. I can teach it while the game keeps stopping. Which is fine. And that should be all far remarks. We've done it. That's definitely enough Gex for one day. Once it loads, I'm gonna walk over to the next level as a oh. Oh, that's quick. I'll pick that up first. I had a pretty, pretty bad night last night, but uh, I kind of decided that I, I was determined to have a good day today. Which means I probably shouldn't have played Gex, but I'm having a good time with it. I just want to spread the word of Gex. Have you heard of Gex? And you know what? Um, there's really not a lot of... As far as I know. Like, I've looked a little bit. There's not a lot of... UK Gex content out there, which is a, a real shame because you're missing so many of the clips. You're missing two thirds of all clips, I believe. Next time, Mystery TV. There is a first person button, but I can't remember what it is. It's not that. That won't do it. Let me press every button. Nope. <laughs> I thought, oh, maybe you need a power to look in first person. That's fine. Why would you not need that? Um, that is happening. But it's, it's a mystery level. Themed after mysteries. Next time. <laughs> what wets in the mystery level? Who could know? See you then, folks.